channel. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the alteration process that I experienced at Kleinfeld Bridal when I bought and found my wedding dress. I mentioned in my first video, which was like my bridal experience at Kleinfeld, that the alterations process was very overwhelming and it truly, truly was. And I wish I would have known these these facts or like these things before when I hope like if I have a daughter I will 100% be telling her this it was kind of insane so you order your dress I want to say it takes about four to six months for the dress to come in Kleinfeld will send you an email phone you when the dress comes in and then you have um, some time to schedule the alterations I think they want your alterations to start about a month a month and a half before your wedding so you can't get alterations done like five months in advance because they want the dress to fit your body at the time of your wedding and they know that like a lot of women like like to lose weight before their wedding or like be in the best shape and so they say you know like wait until closer to your wedding so my first alteration the first alteration is always so exciting because you are trying on your dress for the first time again and it's been like almost a year for me it was like almost a year and was trying it on and it's brand new and now it's like officially yours you're not just trying on the sample for the first fitting I want to say I brought my one my mate I brought my maid of honor my mom and my maid of honor's mom and we tried on the dress it was so nice it was like so fun and you know it's it's just such a nice reminder because you I mean I think I think this goes for everyone. I mean, I don't want to speak for everyone, but personally, like, you, oh, I don't know, you always have these, like, doubts in your mind after you get your wedding dress. You're like, oh, no, no, was it the right one? Like, did I pick the right one? Because you, you don't have it in your hands. Like, it's not, you don't get that daily reminder of, like, yes, you picked the right dress because you order it, and then, like, eight months later, you're still waiting for it. It can be a little overwhelming. So, it was just, the first fitting was great. It was fantastic. I don't remember my um, the alterations woman's name, but she was so, so sweet. I didn't have my shoes for the first alteration, which you're supposed to have. They say for your alteration, like especially your first appointment, bring your shoes, bring the undergarments you're going to wear the day of your wedding. Um, you can also bring like any jewelry if you have it just to make sure like you have exactly the right fit. So, didn't have my shoes, like, I, I pretty well didn't bring anything, but it was fine. Um, my shoes at the time were, like, a little back-ordered. I had them for my second alteration, so first alteration was fine. So, my second appointment, I come in, and my dress was cap sleeve. So, she had to, like, bring it in a little bit around, like, my rib cage area, around my waist. And she had to take up the length, obviously, because I'm so short. And she didn't... The sleeves were a little baggy, so I wanted the sleeves to be taken in a little bit so that they would be a little tighter. Now, okay, so I come in for the second alteration appointment with my mom, and now we're about two weeks away from the wedding, I want to say, and I try on the dress, and I notice that the alter like the alterations, the taking in of the waist impacted the way the sleeves were sitting and the taking in of the sleeves sort of caused this weird almost like Cinderella you know how um Cinderella has the cap sleeves and they get they're tight here but then they like pillow out here like like almost like 80s style that's what my dress all of a sudden was and I was like this is not the dress I got this is not the dress I signed up for no 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 like oh my gosh absolutely not so the alterations woman was so sweet but she was like she was like Ugh. like she was like yeah we took it in but like she was trying to also like explain to me that she didn't really take it in that she had to because of like the way that this was getting a little bit tighter but that like that it was fine that, that she wasn't seeing that sort of billowed out and all I knew was like oh my gosh I hate this we need to fix it um so of course I brought my shoes that time so she she said, okay, we'll, we'll fix the sleeves. We'll make them flatter. I just didn't want them to like oh, be like billow like that. It was, oh, it just was so 80s to me and like so Cinderella that I was like, I can't, this can't be happening. So she was like, don't worry. Like for um, your last fitting, they'll be fixed. The length of the dress will be fixed. All will be fine. Okay, fine. So we come in for the third and final fitting, which I believe was Wednesday. My wedding was on that Saturday so at this point we have a bunch of family and like my mother-in-law my father-in-law are in the city like 
people are starting to arrive. But it was just me and my mom again at the fitting. So I try on the dress and <laughs> the sleeves weren't fixed. If anything, they were worse. And at this point, I was like, oh my God, I freaking hate this dress. It's the worst dress in the world. I'm not wearing this. I hate it. And that to me, like, it was horrible. <laughs> like, hashtag first world problems. I get it. But to like to all of a sudden try on your dress and be like oh my gosh this is not what I tried on originally this is not what I like like it's just so disheartening and then the alterations woman again she was like there's nothing you know she was she was like there's nothing that like there's nothing this is how it was this is how it was and I was like this is not like and I'm not a confrontational aggressive person and it's hard for me to stand up to myself like stand up for myself Sometimes, or like in situations like this where I don't want to offend her and I don't want to offend the work she's done because she was so sweet and like, you know, this is a lot of work. But at the same time, I was like, oh my God, I hate these sleeves. And at the at this point, the sleeves were the only thing that I hated. Like everything else looked fine, but the way that the dress was um, hemmed and the way the dress was taken in, it was causing the sleeves to puff out more. And then the way that she was tightening the sleeves around my like bicep tricep area it was again like billowing the sleeves out more and I was like oh my goodness like I hate this and then especially like I'd move my arms and the sleeves would start creeping up higher so it almost started to look like I was wearing a muscle tee oh my goodness it was terrible so um I was like I said to her again I was like I hate this like and she was like okay we'll try we'll, we'll try to fix it we'll try to fix it Meanwhile, it's Wednesday. My wedding is on Saturday. So I go home. I'm freaking out, freaking out. My mother-in-law luckily is like very good with, um, like she's not a seamstress, but she like does a lot of quilting. She does a lot of sewing. So she was like, okay, listen, when you go pick up your dress, I think I was picking up my dress on the next day, like Thursday or something. Cause they like, they want to press it and steam it and then put it in a bag for you. And she was like, if you pick up your dress, we'll bring it back here. If you hate it, then I'll fix it. And she, and then she was like, she was like, even if it's a day of your wedding and you put on your dress and you hate the sleeves, I'll try to fix it. So like that made me feel a little bit better. But then at the same time, I was like, you know what? <sighs> Whatever. Like I can't, I, I don't want to be stressed out about this, like about the sleeves. Like I know that on the day of it won't even matter. So I just tried to like put it out of my head as like, I think probably a little bit of like a defense mechanism. Cause I think if I like continued thinking about it too much, I would like literally have a mental breakdown. So I just kind of forgot about it. We got the damn dress. And, um, so now comes the day of my wedding. I put on the dress and luckily, I don't know if it was, I like the day of my wedding was like such uh, a crazy crazy like day and I was just feeling so anxious like it's your wedding day like it, it's hard to even put into words what you're feeling but I you know it's funny because like I was working out before my wedding but I wasn't like I need to drop 50 pounds the day of my wedding I swear I woke up and I was like 15 pounds lighter I think it was just the stress and the anxiety of it all and I think that that was what eventually caused the sleeves on my dress to fall a little bit um because my arms were just a little thinner. I don't know. The dress was actually really kind of big on the day of my wedding, which is funny because for all of the fitting sessions, it fit fine. It fit perfectly. If anything, I remember the second session I had with her, it was actually a little bit tight, but I was like, no, no, no. Like, do not take that out. Like, we'll be fine. And I was eating regularly, but I think, I mean, when I get stressed and anxious, I lose weight. And so the day of my wedding, I woke up and I was like, whoa, like, I don't know what happened, but... It was, it was this dress and I gained it all back. So it doesn't matter. Um, but the dress was a little bit big. I think that impacted the sleeves a little bit. And I think she did a really nice job of like, I think the alterations woman was like, I don't know, we're, we're just going to like, sew these bad boys down. Like I just didn't want them to be puffy. Oh, like the last thing I wanted. So my biggest piece of advice for those of you who are, have a wedding dress, are going to alterations, have a wedding dress in alterations, or you're getting married soon, or you want to get married one day is one, know that your dress is going to fit and look a little different when you get it altered because they take, it depends where they take it in. They should take it in on the side so that you can't see the seam. You can't see like where they're sewing. Um, but every dress is different. 
where they're taking it in is going to change the structure of the dress a little bit. So there's that. There's also like how the seamstress is, is doing that, is taking it in. Is she taking fabric from other places? Is she omitting fabric from different places? That again is gonna change the look of the dress. I would say that if you, I would say bring someone with you to your alterations, to every single appointment you have, who is gonna be able to stand, like who's gonna be able to stand up for you, say what you maybe can't say, because you're either overwhelmed, um, you feel bad, you can't stand up for yourself, or if, if you're that type of person. If you're the type of person who like, oh no, I don't care, it's my wedding, like I'll say whatever I want to say, then amazing, more power to you. But I was just not that type of person and neither is my mom. So like I didn't have anyone with me who was like, wait a minute, that looks a little bit weird. Because when dresses get taken in, sometimes things change and like, and where there once wasn't like a pull, all of a sudden now there's like a pull and not a pull in a bad way but like there's it creates a different sort of accent in the dress that wasn't normally there and if you don't like it but you are scared to say, like say something about it then you know that sucks <laughs> then you'll you'll be in the position that I was in but if you bring someone with you who can like really stand up for you that's what my mother-in-law was saying she was like you know we can go back I can go with you like I uh, I can say like what to do like what not to do so looking back had had I had the like had I had this knowledge before which obviously like is impossible but what I would say to my daughter and like who I'll be like just bring someone with you who can stand up for you who knows exactly what you want who can say hey bride do you like that like is that exactly what you want if not let's fix it and yeah that's it I think that's all my advice alterations was crazy but at the end of the day I loved my dress the woman was really nice even though it was kind of insane she was a sweetheart and I really appreciate all of the work she did so guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions any specific questions about alterations finding a wedding dress picking out a wedding dress leave all of those questions down below I will answer you directly or I will make a separate video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you really soon bye